Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome back to another video. So this is a follow-up video based upon my B minor Equihash mining experience. So you can see on the screen, I recently did a video uh, about B minor and say that during my testing, that was the fastest Equihash miner available for NVIDIA GPUs. Um, and immediately upon releasing that video, uh, you guys got back to me as you often do. So this is the video here and you guys were very quick to point out in the comments that with the B minor there was um, discrepancy in the hash rate. So on the mining console uh, people was getting a particular hash rate but on the pool the hash rate was being uh, reported at a much lower rate. So it seemed that B minor was over reporting the hash rate. So that wasn't the case for everyone though. Some people said that the hash rate was um, higher and better even on both the pool and um, on the miner itself. So there's a little bit of mixed opinion, but generally towards B minor over reporting the stated hash rate. So like I say, I do read all of you your comments and I decided to take some action. So I said that I was gonna um, do a 12 hour test on the B minor versus a 12 hour test on the DSTM miner. Um, in actual fact, I done a 24 hour test on each miner because um, Originally I was going to do it with Supernova, but I ended up doing it with uh, Flypool because the hash rate was not, not that it wasn't showing properly, but there was problems just with the Supernova display and the hash rate. So I done a 24 hour test with both miners on Flypool in the end. So that's where I'm going to be going from the rest of this video. I'll be showing you um, the kind of the consoles and also the uh, pools dashboard and showing you how each one looks a comparative to each other to get to the bottom of whether this miner does overstate the hash rate or it does not, which is better overall. So let's move on to that next section. We'll be taking a look at the uh, B miner um, first. Okay, so here we are with the B miner running. So this machine has a GTX 1050 Ti and also a GTX 970. Uh, the miner is reporting roughly around about 470 souls per second. Um, and this clip that you can sort of see here in front of you is it is at the 13 hour mark. Unfortunately, the clip that I had for the startup process has gone missing, so I can't show you that particular section. So the part that we are at now is 13 hours in, and that's been pretty much average um, as we're going on forwards. So I'll show you the pull section now from 13 hours with B minor. Uh, one other point as well, just to sort of, um, before I forget, is the the hardware, I didn't do any overclocking. I just left it all at standard clocks. The reason why I've done that is because I didn't want any sort of um, graphical reporting errors or invalid shares and things like that. So I just left it all at stock. Um, so this is you know, not the best performance you can get, but it should be the most stable and consistent performance um, over time. So now let's take a look at the pool section and see how it looks uh, 13 hours in with the B minor uh, versus uh, you know, the, the minor console versus what's on the pool dashboard. Okay, I'm going to record a little midsection here, uh, just in case there's any change over the 24 hour period. So we started the B minor a little before midnight uh, on the previous day, which is the 28th of February. So you can kind of see that it really got started um, pretty much at midnight, although it started uh, just technically a little bit before that, sort of 10, 20 minutes before. And you can see we, the time now is um, 20 past one. So we've been mining roughly for about 13 and a half hours. So taking a look at the stats, we've got this stat here, which is a calculated average over two hours. So that's um, what we're getting on the two hour kind of um, period. And then we have our average rate over 24 hours. So this should update and get closer and closer to our uh, reported hash rate within the minor console itself. So at the moment we're, it's a 24 hour average but we're only really reporting 13 hours in that uh, section. So at the moment it's kind of looking uh, fairly steady. You've got these uh, uh, spikes which are quite normal when you have uh, your current uh, effective hash rate. That's quite normal to see. But on the average uh, hash rate we're kind of uh, looking around sort of the 430 to 440 kind of hash rate level. So that on that basis at the moment that is about 30 uh, hashes per second lower than than what the miner is reporting so the miner was um, reporting when I last checked uh, 470 hashes so it looks like we're getting 30 hashes short at the moment but I'm gonna let it run for the full period of time and um, which is 24 hours and we'll see how that looks you can also see at this point uh, we've got our, our balance up there as well 
So we are coming to the end of our test here. You can start see the start time was 0, 0, uh, 0040 and you can see our 24 hour hash rate is on the pool is recorded at 448. That's our 24 hour average. So that is our the real um, reported hash rate. You can see I also clicked on the unpaid balance which is due to us and also just going through the uh, timeline you can see that the average is fairly constant through that middle section once the um, the kind of the peaks and troughs balanced out a little bit so obviously the more time you're running you're going to get a more consistent average over time and um, you can see with this chart it just shows the average hash rate you can see as we get closer and closer to the end of the 24 hour period it kind of levels out levels out and it's getting very close to a more stable hash rate which is just around 448 hashes per second so taking a look back at the minor console, you can see here this is the B minor running. So this is at the end of that 24 hour period. And you can see our total accepted shares was 2,532. And there's also some rejected shares in there, but not very many. And that's quite a low percentage, which is how it should be. You really want as few um, rejected shares as possible. So that was just kind of the end summary of the B minor running there. So on the Mayano itself, it says it's running at 474 hashes, but we know on the pool we're getting 448. Here you can see the startup of the DSTM miner. So this is the start of the 24 hour period of time. You can see the time in the bottom right hand corner, 0033. Um, I must point out at this point, I, I made a mistake. So I started the miner, I run it for 10 minutes and I had to go back and just adjust the miner. Um, the, it won't make any difference to the performance. It was just a, a worker name correction. I spelled the worker name wrong. So I just went back and changed it after this fact. But here you can see in the minor, the first kind of results are coming through. So the first average is 470 hashes. Second one is 445. So we'll leave it running just for a little bit longer and kind of get a better average. Um, as before, we're using all stock clocks um, for our hardware. You can see at the top, it's the GTX 970 and the 1050 Ti. So we'll just let that run for a minute or two to kind of get that average. So 462. So here we are with the 24 hour average of the DSTM miner. So you can see it's 438, just slightly slower than the B miner on the 24 hour average. If I change the, uh, the view so you can see the effective hash rate, you can see that it starts off slightly higher when transferring over from the B miner. So just at the very first part, because it's obviously a 24 hour average, it drops down before then slightly picking back up and closer to the original setting. So it kind of ends up around 440 hashes per second. You can see that there was um, really no invalid shares during the time of mining, uh, which there was a few uh, when using the B miner. And at the very start, you can also see there is the uh, worker issue like I already explained because I made that error on the worker name. So here's a side by side comparison at the uh, pool. So the pool was fly pool and you can see both miners for a 24 hour period um, mining Zcash on Flypool. So at the top we've got the B miner and you can see that the average 24 hour average was 448. So that's a, a, a bit of a discrepancy uh, because on the mining console we was reporting 470, 475, those kind of numbers. Taking a look at the DSTM miner, you can see the average is slightly lower, 438, um, so almost uh, almost exactly 10 less hashes per second on that 24 hour average. Um, if we'd let it run a little bit longer, I think the average would have kind of balanced it out and I think would have been bring it back up almost closer, back towards the B minor. Mm -hmm. There's this kind of this little dip section um, towards the end of the 24 hour period. I don't know what that was. Uh, I don't know if that was due to any sort of um, a rejected or stale shares. It could have been something like that. It could have been in some network connection, connection issues or maybe even a problem at the pool. Um, so there was that kind of dip there, which I think reduced that 24 hour uh, average. So without that dip, um, I think it would have been much closer between the DSTM and also the B minor. But broadly speaking, there's not very much difference there between them. I mean, over 24 hours, you could test this. The longer you test it, obviously, the more uh, closer uh, and better data you're going to get. But for a 24 hour average, testing B minor uh, on the first day and DSTM minor on the second day with uh, exactly the same um, hardware and configuration, um, 
broadly speaking, there's hardly any difference to the performance that you're going to receive at the port end. So it does seem that B minor overstates the hash rate um, slightly. Um, you could also argue that DSTM also over slightly um, states the hash rate, but to a lesser degree. Um, but regardless of whichever miner that you use, um, you're probably going to get the same results when it comes to your earnings at the pool. So that's really the conclusion of this video, a 24 hour test of each one of the miners. And the end result is there's hardly any difference between the, the, the combined performance or the actual average performance over a 24 hour period. That's what I'm getting from uh, my results here. For you guys, it might be slightly different. If you've got slightly different hardware, you might find that one miner works better with say um, older 900 series cards and another miner works better with the 10 series cards, the Pascal cards. So really it's for you guys to do your own testing. You know, Test with one miner for 24 hours, test with another miner for 24 hours. See what your average is, but really that's where you wanna be looking at. Don't focus all your kind of um, efforts on the console itself because there's always gonna be that um, discrepancy. The other thing to talk about um, also is each one of these miners also have a mining section which is for the development of the miner so you have like a dev mining section and that should also be around about two percent so that's also going to affect your earnings overall and you can't really sort of see it in the stats here but that will affect your average one other point as well and you're always going to see this when you're mining in your mining console versus what you're seeing at the pool the pool will always take a average based on the shares that you submit over a certain period of time whereas the mining console based the uh, the hash performance is based on the actual calculated hashes so if your um your mining console is uh, got a, a fixed hash rate let's say a 500 and you're seeing less at the pool the pool is or the you know one or the other is not necessarily incorrect it's just the way the the um the miners and the pool reports that information to you so one is based on calculations and the other one is kind of like your a number of shares submitted so that's quite common to see um, discrepancies um, I get it when I'm mining Ethereum on the Ether mine and stuff like that so it's quite common to see a bit of difference but end result is um, you know do your own testing and see what works best for you guys so that's it for this video and it's been quite a long and choppy video but hopefully um, you got to see my results and um, it's been useful for you so that's it for this one I'll see you guys on the next video